let's get into the conversation. Good morning to you, Doc. Emmanuel, right? Yes, please. Good mm -hmm. to have you here. Thank you. Happy Wednesday. Are you a Wednesday boy? Yes, please. I see. <laughs> Cheers to all Wednesday boys. <laughs> uh, happy birthday going out to Emmanuel Sin. Um, sweethearts, have a pleasant morning. Enjoy God's grace. Sending lots of hugs and love your way. Doc, it looks like with the current um, situation in Ghana, economic crisis and all of that, I said we are all suffering from <laughs> bipolar disorder. Kakra. Mm. Mm. Uh, first of all, let me greet your viewers. Um, the system is hot in Ghana now. Mm. Mm. And people are going through a lot. Yeah, nah. And if you go to every household in Ghana, you might find somebody having anxiety, depression or maybe depression. anxiety or bipolar affective mm. disorder. Yeah, so it's good this morning to talk about this topic. Right. So I know that we've spoken a lot on um, bipolar disorder and all of that. Kindly shed more light on it for me. Right. What is bipolar disorder? All right. Thank you very much. So uh, when you say bi, it means mm -hmm. two. Right. So the polar, take it like uh, two poles, one being the extreme high mm. and one being low. Mm. So bipolar is all about uh, mental health, like a disorder that is characterized by extreme sadness mm. and extreme happiness. Some people go through life, they are so happy um, at the point in time, they can't even do anything in their life. So they will need professional help. Mm. Yes, bipolar. It's a serious mental issue in Ghana now because people don't take it as how it is because people can go to work, they can work, they can do everything, but then they are suffering within right. and they don't see the need to seek for professional advice or professional help. Hmm. How delicate is the issue of mental health? Um, it's a challenge globally. So Ghana is not an um, exception. Mental issues have not been, you know, we are waiting for uh, government officials to right. go through these things before we, we think uh, our mental health is so important. Mm. But I'm telling you that mental health is a new word. Mm. Once you're okay, once you can go about your daily living, once you can go through the life, mm -hmm. I think it's good for, and for your own well-being. Mm. How do we um, get people to appreciate the need to prioritize mental health because it looks like some of us don't even know say what we are going through could be bipolar or whatever it is how do we appreciate the need to take care of our mental health as i said the statistic is not that much <clears throat> you know mental health is not sensitized well in ghana and not all have the privilege to even listen to us this morning mm. so these people will lose a lot but then once you, you, like you know yourself, mm -hmm. if you have malaria, you go to the hospital, you check. Why don't you also go to the mental facility, check for your psychological makeup, check for your biology. Like, is everything going on right with you? Mm. You are in the house that you can't even sleep at night. You can't even eat well. You've isolated yourself from your friends and from your family. You mean there's something wrong. So you seek for uh, advice or you seek for professional help. Mm. Mm. I see. Now, let, let's talk about um, bipolar itself. Um, what are the types and levels of bipolar? If you can break it down and explain okay. it very well for us. So, um, as I said, the manic side, which is the, the extreme high mm -hmm. of it, and the depressive state, which is uh -huh. the low of, of, of it. Okay. So, there are several types of it. We have uh, bipolar affective disorder, type 1, type 2. We have the cyclothemia. We have the cyclic. A lot of them, but then I will try to explain the manic mm. side and the depressive state. Right. Okay, so, so when you say mania or manic, mm -hmm. somebody feels so high, so elated. Assuming you, uh, you win a Ima, lot. Can, can we talk about the types first? Okay. Then we can come to what you're talking all about. Right, so let's right. talk about the types. Okay. Right. So we have the type one. Right. And so that one is characterized by the uh, extreme sadness or mm -hmm. highness of it. Okay. The type 2 is the um, hypomania. Mm -hmm. It's the least form of the mania. Mm -hmm. Even being high right. is the mania. So the, that one is the least form. Mm -hmm. So you can go about your, 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 your uh, activities of daily living mm -hmm. without any uh, psychosis or any disturbances to your life. Mm -hmm. And we have the sacrotemic, which is the mood swings. 
Right. Almost everybody in Ghana has a mood swing. We all have yes. mood swings. Uh, because um, at one point in time in life, you'll be happy, you'll be sad. Mm -hmm. But then, for your ability to stay within that range, or that going the extreme, mm -hmm. that will affect your energy level, your feelings, and your activity, that is okay. So these are basically the types of the uh, bipolar affective disorder. Right. So let's talk about the... The, what the, you, you made mention of the um, mania and the, right. or the manic type. Manic type. So let's okay. talk about that. Okay. One. So uh, mania is a form of bipolar, mm -hmm. but it's an uh, um, extreme form of it. So you are high, you can't even have time to even eat. Some are so serious that they, they, like, they do activities the whole day without even having time to sleep, mm -hmm. to eat, or to even take care of themselves. So that is the uh, extreme form of it. Mm. Yes. And the depressive side. Right. Most people who enjoy um, playing golf mm -hmm. will now not have any feeling for the golf crowd at all. I see. They wouldn't be able to eat. Some can even go to their room at night, arrange the room, mm -hmm. scatter everything again, then start packing. Like, they don't feel happy in life. Some feel hopeless. Some feel like there's guilt within them mm. that they are the cause of um, issues in life. And when the psychosis sets in, mm. some have uh, delusional disorders. I see. Yes, so it's very, very serious. Some may even think they don't have even stomach to eat. Mm. Some may feel they don't even have truth. So they wouldn't even take care of themselves. They wouldn't even eat. Some may even feel like uh, they are poor to the extent that they can't even buy food. Mm. So when you give them food, they wouldn't even eat the food. Mm. So that is also the depressive aspect of bipolar. I see all these things that you are talking about. Obi Sobeka said, it could be spiritual, right? Obi, Becca said, oh, Obi, and at the end of the day, we don't seek the right solution. Could it be spiritual as well? Um, as professionals, mm. we don't debunk the spiritualities of um, anything in life because some people seek comfort from this spiritual aspect mm -hmm. but then once you are praying once you are doing your spiritual things try and seek professional help mm. that is the best advice i can give because i wouldn't say your faith is no good or don't even go, go that right. yes but, but sometimes then, once I, you do I believe it, it could be spiritual uh, so let's talk about the causes what even brings this whole thing is it genetic is it that the precious or um getting to us from society and all of that okay so um all the mental disorders hmm. are um idiopathic it means we don't know the the exact cause of, of them uh, but then there are predisposing factors and precipitating factors that um makes the individual susceptible to the um the uh, that aspect okay mm -hmm. so we have the um predisposing factors we have the genetic makeup mm. As human beings, we are born from uh, parents, and mm. they are genes. Yeah. So if one parent has the uh, disorder, the probability of the child getting is about 10%. Mm. Then if both parents suffer bipolar affective disorder, it means the child has 50% chance of getting it. Yes, and um, uh, we we'll go to chemical imbalances. You know, our brain helps us in everything that we do. Right. Time to wake up, time to sleep, time to eat, time to go about your daily living. and um, all these activities are done by the neurotransmitters in the head. Mm -hmm. So we have something we call the no, no um, adrenaline, the no epinephrine, the serotonin, and the um, dopamine. Mm. These are the chemical uh, transmitters in our brain that help us to do these things. So if the okay, so let's take for for, for um, instance mm -hmm. this water. Every individual should have say a balance of it. Right. So once the water is full and it's overflowing, mm -hmm. then the person becomes manic or so happy or extreme or but, but, before you. But, but, but yes. some people are naturally hyper. One of my producers is like that. She's naturally hyper. Debia Niniaji. Could it be? <laughs> I'm trying to play that devil's advocate, right? Could it be that she's suffering from? Because I've never seen her down. Mm. Oh no, Debia, she's just like you're saying. She's up there. So, uh, mm -hmm. so this person, she has her new uh, winner firing at the time. And but it's, then it's positive, right? It's okay if the person has no um, issue with activities of life. 
if the person can go about his or her daily living, mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm -hmm. But once this thing becomes extreme to the point that the person is even buying stuff she has no money to buy, mm -hmm. thinking that, you know, they are so confident in life that anything that they do, like yeah. some even believe in their ability to the extent that something they are even God, I they are... like a fly. <laughs> yes, uh -huh, that aspect. Mm. Uh -huh. So once it's uh, kept balanced, right. it's okay. But if the um, chemicals fire, mm -hmm. you become so manic. And if there are shortage of it, mm -hmm. you become so depressed in life. 